Basic Mine for Robot Wars In this video, we're going to learn how to use the jackboard to make a mine that can be used in Robot Wars, just like the one shown here. The idea of the mine is that it's an object in a Robot Wars arena that when you make contact with it, can do something. This can be either to remove points, to remove health, or it could even give you more points or give you more health. What the mind does comes down ultimately to how it's programmed. As one would expect, there are two main parts to a mine. The first is a method of triggering it, and the second is it needs to be able to do something once it is triggered. The simplest trigger is basically a switch, just like the one shown above. When the contacts of the switch are open, the mine is not triggered. But when the button is closed, or the switch is closed, the mine is triggered. This picture shows an example of the mine we're going to make. There are two things to notice. One is the circular piece of wire going around the outside of the mine. This represents one half of the switch. The other part to notice is the jackboard's body itself because this is the second half of the switch, and the mine is triggered when these two points come into contact, which is the equivalent of turning on the switch or pressing a button. Looking at the top left-hand corner of the picture, you can see there's a piece of wood. What this does is it provides an insulator between the outside ring and the jackboard itself. It also stops the outer ring from contacting with the jackboard body itself, because if it did, the mine would trigger all the time, which isn't much use. If we now look at the bottom left-hand corner of the mine, you can see that there's a loop in the end of the piece of wire that goes around the outside of the jackboard. And in the center of this loop is a bolt about two inches long that pokes up through the middle of the hole. The operation of the mine depends on the fact that if you touch the wire, the movement will cause the wire to touch the central pole and close the switch. This is what triggers the mine. Looking at the picture, you can see there's a red wire that connects to the wire that goes around the outside of the jackboard. This in turn connects to port pin A5 on port A of the jackboard. There is a second wire, which is the black one, and this connects to the bolt that pokes up through the center of the wire ring at the end of the wire. This is connected to the ground pin of the jackboard. These two wires make up the switch that will be used to trigger the mine. Lastly, notice that there's a continuous gap all the way around the edge of the jackboard between the jackboard and the outer ring wire. This is important because if we don't have this gap, then the mine will trigger all the time. The mine is triggered when another robot gets too close and pushes the wire such that they make contact. This triggers the mine, as you can see from the picture above. What happens once the mine is triggered is entirely determined by your program. 